I guess that's the fun part. Is to find the meat. Yeah. Feeling around, babe. Yeah, you gotta feel around to find the meat. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are back in London, England. Yeah, we had some unfinished business. Yeah, as far as food is concerned. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we we're here maybe, what, three weeks ago, three Just to four about. weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, we are back, but we are staying at a different hotel mm -hmm. at the Dilly, which is right behind us where the flags are. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot cooler weather-wise. Oh, yeah, a lot cooler. In yeah. fact, we're going to jack it up as soon as we get into the hotel. Yeah. But we're a little early. It's only, what time now? 12. Yeah, noon time. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to check in. If so, then we'll give you a quick room tour. Right. If not, yeah. the room tour will come later. Yeah, we're just going to drop our, our stuff off and then uh, head mm -hmm. out. Yeah. You ready? Ready. Let's go. Welcome to the Dilly. We were able to check in, so we got lucky. Uh, as you walk into our room, check out the bathroom there. Good sized bathroom with a tub. Got some amenities there, right? Yes. Right here. If you step out to the living area, this is our king size bed. This is considered a executive king room, I guess. Here it is. Nice size TV. We got like a corner room, so mm -hmm. you can see we have two windows. Closet we are space. only on the second floor. Right, so, ooh, robes. And slippers at the bottom. Oh, there's your fridge. Fridge, safe. Little things in here, hair dryer. Oh, there's your laundry bag. And is this one storage too? Yep, or ironing board. Everything in there. And uh, when we checked in, they gave us this cool bag with a bottle of wine. Look at that. They know how to treat their out-of-towners, right? And you know, this is actually an upgraded room. There's a couple, couple snacks in here as well because we got a regular uh, one, one bed room and they upgraded us when we checked in. So uh -huh. all up, we got it uh, for four, 30. 430, uh, including tax, USD, and uh, we got it through booking.com. So it was definitely last minute, and I, I don't know if it was cheaper if we booked way in advance, but of course we're flying standby, so everything is last minute. Well, we have a little uh, coffee maker here and a hot water pot with a bunch of tea yes so wow. yeah this this is really nice it's very, very comfortable it has a nice air conditioning so we're going to unpack a little bit and hit the road oh and to mention mm -hmm. that last time we were here we round the round plugs yes right yes here it it's is the flat ones the that flat look like that plugs. It's like a triangular kind of three. Yeah. So, so yeah. So if you, come, be prepared. if you come to the UK, make sure you have the, the flat adapter. Yeah. If you're using the 110 from, from the US. The flat adapter or even bring the round ones depending upon your You never your know. Stay. Last time we had one with the two round pins. So you just don't know. Bring those two. In the Dilly, they have a terrace on Piccadilly, which they even have an afternoon tea. We're not going to cover this one, but it's pretty cool. Now let's go downstairs. It's a little bit breezy. Yeah, it's about 57 degrees, but it is nice and clear blue sky for today. Yes. We're going to make our way to uh, Borough Market, Market mm -hmm. but that's going to be on a separate video. But uh, we went mic this just so you get the, the, the sound yeah. of the street. That's the feel and the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, right. So we're going to make our way there and give you some shots. Right, no more than five minutes from our hotel is Fortnum Mason. That's so one of your really favorite stores, yeah. and that's where we had afternoon tea on our last video, right here. As we're walking to our train station to go to Borough Market, look at here, a bun shop. All different flavors. This looks delicious, and you can even smell it from the outside. And you know we had to stop and just take a gander. Look at that. Yeah, this is it right here. Mm. 
we made it to Borough Market. Yeah. Now, from where we were, you jump on the tube at uh, Green Park. Yes. And it's four stops later, it's at London Bridge. Yes, it's on the Jubilee Line. Yeah, you just follow mm -hmm. the sign to Borough Market very easy. Mm -hmm. And we've been using, uh, was it Apple Maps? Mm -hmm. And it's been doing very well right now. So yeah. it's really good. Yeah, really good. So uh, we'll give you some snippets of the market, but mm -hmm. like we mentioned, it's going to be on a separate vlog. But we'll give you some highlights. Dark and milk chocolate. Oh, yeah. This is humongous. It is big. It's Look really big. The reference right there. Yeah, Wait. it's a big one. Yeah. Okay, let's try this out. Oh, baby. okay. Together. Same time. Uh huh. Oh man, here we go. I think this is what we're gonna get right here, yeah. right? This is the fried chicken and, and mac, mac and cheese. And something new, the curry. They call it curry gravy here. Let's try it with the chip, because I think that's what you're supposed to do with this. Oh, look at that. The chips are really hot, too. Here we go. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Little update. Yeah. We just took an old people's nap for about a couple hours. Mm -hmm rest our feeties. Yeah, I feel a lot better now. We have dinner reservations at 8.30 p.m. And that's really late for us, but we're going to do it. We took a nappy food. Yeah, in fact, it was the only time slot for inside dining. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to walk around and see what's up. What the nightlife is. We're going to go walk into, of course, Fort and Mason. Uh, maybe, I don't know, we're, we still have jam. We already so I don't do. think we need to pick up any. We still have tea. So let's go see what else they have. Check this out. Coffee, apple tea. Coffee, apple tea. And look, at they have what the bags look like inside. And they also give you a little sniff. I can smell the apple. It smells like spices, apple and spices. That maybe is a winner, we'll see. Yeah, uh, the price is almost 15 pounds for it, for 20 bags. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, uh, let's, let's, let's look around, around. yeah. Christmas is out. Look at these ornaments. Look at that. It has your scones in there, has your sandwiches, and your tea. And this one has that tower. Look how beautiful that is. And of course, your classic tea box right here. Yeah, like the kind we're looking at downstairs. Yeah, classic tea box. And gift ones. I think we have to get an ornament or two, baby. Yeah, they're averaging around 23 pounds or so around each. There. Yeah, like this one. Oh, there's no price on this one. I Let's thought I see. saw 20 pounds. Right here. 25 pounds. Almost 26 pounds. Only 26 pounds. So around what? Uh, almost, a little less than a $30 USD um, ornament. Yeah, what a deal. Yeah. Any Advent calendar fans out there, check this one out. Here's one of tea. Look at that. This goes for 155 pounds, but it definitely is for tea lovers. It gives you a little bit of everything. Oh, jam and treats. This, <laughs> this is like a pack full of goodies in this advent calendar. I love this one, but we don't do check-in luggage though. But this yeah, one, I definitely it's, uh, get. It's 200 pounds for that. Yeah. And they have like a, what, four more different kinds over here. Look at that. How, uh, do you, how do you take that home? Yeah, I don't know if that's for sale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is a winner right here. Look at this admin calendar. It has every single day, right? And then if you pull open a day, it's a music box. You could put whatever you want inside there, huh? Uh -huh. And you open, it's different music. Oh, your classic hits. Oh my gosh. Then okay. how much is this, this one? Is cool. For 175 pounds. One thing that stands out here for the Mason is how fancy everything is. Look at this plate setting here. It looks like royalty. So fancy. Like gold rims. And to the hill with the flowers and even the chandelier. Yeah, it looks like uh, something you might see inside a Buckingham Palace or something. I don't know if this is a Halloween thing or more of a holiday. They have these 
chocolate toads. And it looks really fancy looking. A little pricey at uh, almost 30 pounds for it. So if you know about it, let, let us know in the comments if, if this is more like a Halloween or just an everyday chocolate toad kind of thing. It's got some weight to it too. Successful shopping. We got tea, we got the bag, we got some biscuits, we got our Christmas ornament, all the good stuff in here. Nice, and they even wrap stuff up for you. They did. Yeah. So we're going to drop this back off in our hotel and venture some more. Now that's window shopping. It is. Little update, we're at Leicester Square right mm -hmm. now. There's a lot of people out for a cold night. It is, and it's 54 degrees Fahrenheit. What is that in Celsius? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm we not could sure. convert and put it right here. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's not that chilly. It's comfortable. No. It is. I think. Yeah. So we did do a little shopping at the at the Hard Rock uh, for a little little nieces. We're already doing Christmas shopping. Yeah, I know. Can you believe it? It's just right around the corner. It is, and you just, as you saw from F and M, they yeah. got the Christmas trees mm -hmm. and a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think they're gonna get a lot more Christmas stuff going on. I would love to make it back for Christmas, but I don't know if we're going to. Yeah. So I don't know. we got to try knows? to get it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know. So now we are on our way to our dinner place, and we should be there within a couple of minutes. This is the menu. This menu looks really good. We want to almost try everything on it. And I'm lucky it's it's not as big. So we it's easy to pick out what we're going to do. Yes, I think we're looking at some small plates. I know something from the sea. And we have some uh, non-alcoholic uh, ones picked out. And so the, uh, the other side. And the other side are the drinkies. Oh yeah, look at that. There's some signature items. Supposed to have some amazing desserts as well. These are like drinks on this side. We got the dragon punch and the gooseberry and mm -hmm. mandarin sour. Okay, now we're gonna look over this menu one more time. My non-alcoholic drink came, the dragon punch, which is dragon tea, apricot, mint stem, and black pepper. Interesting. And yours? And I got the gooseberry one, which is, I can't even find it, baby. Oh. Oh, the other side. I gotta, I gotta flip it. Sorry about that. Okay, I got the gooseberry and mandarin sour. Gooseberry, red, and green mandarin. And verju earl grey tea. Oh, that's a little bit different. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh, that's good. You can really taste the tea. It's not sweet at all. You can really taste the lemon in there. It's very refreshing. I like this one. When you walk in, the area, the seating area is very well lit. The noise level is moderate, but it's not music. It's just people just having a good time type of noise level. It is an open kitchen. They even have the little bar seating or like a chef's table type seating that you do need reservations for, but you're right there, right in front, watching everybody cook. And it is an open kitchen again, and so you can see everything going on. The lighting and the ceiling, very pretty. It looks like flowers hanging from the ceiling. I know they have a bar area here as well, and it is a very busy. I, there's a few tables open, so, rec so reservations are recommended, and they have indoor and outdoor dining. First off the bat, we got the mushroom parfait. We ordered this one because we heard that they grow these mushrooms in-house. It is a grilled shiitake, it is lion mane, and grilled bread. We're going to go ahead and try this out. Look at this mushroom. Oh, wow. This mushroom is really soft. Almost like spreadable soft. So go ahead, get some of this mushroom right here. Get some of this grilled bread. And look at, again, it's spreadable. Have you ever had spreadable mushroom? Before? I haven't. Let me get some of this shiitake on here. And we're going to go ahead and try this out. First 
why. It's a cool dish. It's not warm. That bread is delicious. I couldn't taste much of the mushroom on there. Let me get a little bit more mushroom on here. Alrighty. Let's see if I can taste the mushroom now in this bite. Oh, wow. It's almost like a, a mushroom pate. As much mushroom as it is, it's a very light tasting mushroom. And I like it has that really good garlic taste. And like, it, it's a little bit sweet, which is kind of interesting. This is delicious. You're gonna like this, babe. It's not very mushroom. Yeah, I'm looking all. forward to, to trying it out. Mm -hmm. It's really good. This is good. I love the look of this bread. The grill it. Look like a little bit of butter on here. It's got that little shine. Let's try this out. Oh, look at that. I have never seen like a spreadable mushroom like this. It almost looks like grilled onions. Doesn't it look like grilled onions? Wow. Here we go. It reminds me of French onion soup. French onion soup. Yeah. And there's no mushroom in a French onion soup. This is amazing. Is there miso in here? No, I didn't say. Really? Then my, my taste buds are all jacked up then. <laughs> I taste a little miso. This is highly recommended. It's delicious. My gosh. But it's not mushroom heavy. So if no. you're expecting mushrooms? Not at all. If you remember in Hawaii, we got the uh, mushroom with the truffle oil pizza. That was way more mushroomy, way more. This is delicious. What makes it is that bread, that buttered grilled bread. It's yeah, good. excellent. It tastes like a spreaded onion soup. Right. Yeah, I'm lost for words. Highly recommend it. We saw corn ribs on the appetizer menu. Check that out. Tell me, have you ever seen anything like this? I haven't. Give me some wine. It's got kombu seasoning. In Japanese, kombu is like uh, like seaweed. So, it'd be very interesting to try out. Let's try it without the lime first. This is a fun little appetizer. You do have that seasoning taste. I, I can't put my finger on it. It's not seaweedy at all, but it's got that certain Japanese type of seasoning flavor on this corn. And having it, having it deep fried like this is very tasty. Yeah, this is really good. Try a little bit of lime on that? Yeah, I'll have you try it with the lime. Okay. But it tastes good as is. It's really good. They give you so many. Look at that. Yeah, this is really good. These are served for kind of the warm pot side. I'm going to squeeze mine with some lime. Here we go. Let's get a little bit lime on that. Right there. Try it out. Oh yeah, that corn is nice and um, pops in your mouth still. So it is a little bit fried and it is crunchy. I was gonna pop the whole thing in my mouth, but this little rib part, you really just have to eat off of it. It's kind of hard to chew, but this corn part, it's delicious. And for me, it doesn't need the lime. It gives you just that little salty and tart flavoring to it because of the lime. But just this way is perfect. It's nice and sweet and crunchy. It's good. How's that seasoning? It's very light, right? No, very light seasoning. Probably a little bit on the 
See, it's not salty at all, but maybe because of the seasoning, it's a little bit on the salty side. But it's not overly salty, so it's delicious. This is the confit smoked cabbage. Have you ever had a smoked cabbage before? This has miso butter, and it also has black garlic and walnuts in it. I'm gonna see, try this sauce out, see what that is. Oh, wow. That one right there is that miso butter. See what this is right here? Black garlic. So, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this together and we're gonna try it out. Here we go. And we love cabbage. Look at that. That looks delicious. It just melts in your mouth and you get the crunchiness actually from this walnut. Walnut's very good in here. It has that crunch flavor and it does taste like a, a walnut. So let me try a little bit of this cabbage with everything in here. Get a little bit of cabbage in that sauce, in that miso butter sauce with a little of this black garlic. All right. Let's go ahead and try this out. Another winner. This cabbage is so well cooked, it really melts in your mouth. It's easy, easy to chew. And when you mix everything together, you get that really good cabbage flavor with that butter, that miso butter, and the little hint of, gar of the black garlic. Wow, um, another winner from this place. I'm excited for this one here. So let me try a little bit of everything here like you did. Good piece of cabbage. Really, you know, we didn't eat too much cabbage. We had a lot of Kahlua pork and cabbage. Here we go. This is very rich. The cabbage, like you said, melts in your mouth. And it's got that good cabbage flavor. At the same time, all this other stuff just adds the richness to it. Another good one, like you said. This is one of Fallow's specialty. The smoked cod head. Look how massive this is. They had a special for a halibut head today. But we want to stick with what made them famous. So this is the cod head. And you also get the collar here as well. And look how big this collar is. As I'm like hovering over it, I could just smell the house-made sriracha with the, what was the other? Leak oil. Leak oil. I didn't know Leek had oil. Look at those sharp teeth. Wow. And this is the cheek section. And you know, if, if you know about fish, the cheek has the very tender part of the, the flesh of the fish. And the collar is one of the most popular items in any fish, like salmon collar, cod, uh, yellowtail, very popular. But let's go right into the cheek. Oh, as I'm hitting it, it's bone right here. So obviously I'm missing the cheek. Maybe a little bit below it. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go, right there. Look at that piece. It's that great fatty, oily fish, plus the meat and that house-made sriracha. Enough talking, let's go for the bite. When I first saw that they had sriracha, I was thinking, oh, it might be a little bit too spicy. It's not, it just has that great sriracha flavor. So it's got that peppery flavor to it. It is not really spicy. Wow, I would consider it maybe, maybe a two or three out of 10 in spiciness. So it's not very spicy at all. This meat is very soft. Taste of smokiness too. Oh yeah. Yes, this dish looks massive, but if you've ever had a head of anything, it doesn't have a lot of meat to it. 
they were suggesting their special is that halibut head and it had a lot more meat but we have so many sides and actually even one more entree that this is going to be perfect for us we're going to go ahead and try out this collar they even gave us a little extra sauce right here so we can drizzle it in if we need it but this has a lot of sauce already i'm going to get this meat right here you can see that hardiness and you can smell that great char on this fish let's go ahead and try this out mm. a right, great hearty cod flavor but doesn't feel like it's gonna really tie us down because of the lightness of the fish That sriracha sauce is delicious and gives it the perfect amount of seasoning that this fish needs. And the fish is excellent. I like that char flavor that you get in it. Oh yeah. We're gonna go ahead, finish this off, go poke around and see when we can find the meat, and then wait for our, our last entree. For our last main, we got a sirloin steak. Now this is a ex-dairy cow with beef fat chimichurri and a hot pepper. I'm not sure what type of reduction sauce is with this steak, but we're about to find out. Looks really good. I like how they pre-slice it for you. It is cooked to a very nice medium. Look at that. And Let's just dredge it through a little bit of reduction. A little bit of that beef fat chimichurri. Oh, look at that. Look at that sheen on there. Here we go. This has a very interesting taste to it. It's very tender, first of all. It is cooked perfectly to the right temperature of medium that we requested. The meat itself, it almost, it almost tastes dry, but very moist at the same time. I know that makes no sense at all, but it just doesn't have almost like the um, the regular moist richness of like a regular sirloin or New York. But it is very tender. Th that's the reason why it kind of makes no sense. This is my my first experience with the ex dairy cow, so maybe others could chime in on. Um, your description, maybe how you like the exterior cow steaks, but I like it. It has a great beefy flavor to it. Let's cut into this pepper and give this pepper a try. Alrighty, has that good char on there. Get a little bit of that chimichurri. Initially, that pepper flavor is sweet. Wow. That char really brings out the flavor. It is not spicy at all, but probably because I didn't get any of the seeds. But it has that very good pepper flavor. Now, with this pepper flavor, along with a piece of this meat, maybe it's because we've noticed things here, when you match it together, it gives a different flavor. So I have that pepper with a piece of the meat, a little bit of that chimichurri right on top. It's weird, but you eat this piece of meat along with this pepper, the little sharpness of the meat and the sweetness of the pepper really balances it out. Wow, that is amazing. You have to eat this together, baby, and you tell me what you say, what you think about it. Here we go, combination of that pepper and that beef, plus that chimichurri. That's the combination. Have it with the pepper, the chimichurri, and the steak, and it tastes like an elevated Southwestern steak. It gives it that Southwestern flair. That is delicious now. Now I kind of like it more than I like to have the steak by itself is the tea is the pepper. And 
it may have a little bit of seasoning, but believe me, it is not spicy or hot at all. We almost did now more pepper. More pepper. We need more pepper. Whose party is this? I don't know. We're celebrating something? <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah, thanks. Sure. <laughs> Well, blow it out, babe. I don't know if you can. I think you're just supposed think, to let it fizz out. No, I think so. No? Oh, it's a I guess sparkler. So. It's almost done. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah. They know how to treat their out-of-town customers. I guess so. Yeah. Oh, it's about to fizz out. Yeah. So we did get our cappuccinos with the nice decorations on here. And what did we get for a dessert? Uh, we got a soft serve, vanilla soft serve with an apple crumble and a whey tart. Wow. It kind of resembles a kind of a cheesecake a little bit. With caramel. Yeah, with an ice cream right there, yes. right? Wow, so that was a surprise. We were not expecting that. Yeah. Is that something inside? No, just something to hold it. Okay, good thing you didn't eat it. Yeah, cappuccino. Cheers. Wow, delicious. Just a little bit sweet. It match perfectly because we have some sweet desserts. Yes, they gave um, a little thing of uh, brown sugar on they the did. side. Mm -hmm. All right, now go ahead and try the uh, soft serve with apple crumble. Yeah, apple crumble. Soft vanilla soft serve apple crumble. Here we go. A lot of apple crumble on there. Mm. This is delicious. The, the soft serve is very good. The crumble is delightful. And I like this little crunch they have here. This is a really good capper to our meal. Mm -hmm. I have to look up exactly what whey was. And it's like the liquid leftover after they make cheese. So I guess they found a way to make a tart out of it. So let's try this out. Uh, without the ice cream first, all the way down, here we go. This is the way, insert Mandalorian, uh, yeah. slight caramel flavor, it is sweet, but it has that nice ultra creamy taste to this and I love the crust all the way down let me try it with the ice cream and it looks like they put some crumbles on here as well oh just like that this is it if you make it to fallow here in London, make sure you save room for a dessert, especially this one. You'll thank me later. Delicious. Fallow was amazing. Oh my gosh. Delicious. I am so glad we got the reservations because we tried to do it three weeks ago and we couldn't get the reservations. And they do accept walk-ins, but it would be on the bar seating, which would have right. been fine. But we really wanted a table because we wanted to try so many um, dining options. Right. Now, made. what I really appreciate is they brought out dish by dish, not mm -hmm. everything all at once. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I re so you could really focus on on every dish because that's all there was. Mm -hmm. The whole experience was about two and a half hours? It was like almost three hours, almost at least three for hours. us, because yeah, we, yeah. Were, we were uh, filming and everything. Luckily, we're walking back to the hotel, burn some of this food off, huh, baby? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we're very full. It is windy and it's cold out tonight. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, we're going to kind of close it off yes, at we the are. hotel. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. A little bit warmer spot. Yes. Look what they're starting to do. This is October 17th. They're starting to hang the Christmas decorations up. Yeah, they're actually doing it right now. Yeah. So, what, October what, 17th right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure by to end of October, beginning November, it'll be all decorated here at Christmas. Let's see if we can make it back. Yeah, and this location is, is right where that fountain where people always hang out at, at Piccadilly mm -hmm. Circus. Uh -huh, it's Piccadilly Circus. And then the big O 
at electronic yeah billboard there so yeah that's what it is oh that's oh. pretty cool maybe christmas shopping maybe we did a little bit today though we did a little bit of christmas in case we can't make it back for holidays we are back at the dilly we are nice and warm in here huh, it babe? is it's a little bit more quieter so Follow. that yes. was just a delight it was really special on this trip huh, oh baby? yeah yeah so everything i read about that uh, restaurant lives up to the hype it does it is busy for a reason yes. a lot of locals in mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. and uh they treat us very good with the little with the little birthday flare yeah, candle. Yeah, we didn't know thing. if it was any of our birthdays, but hey, why not, huh, baby? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, so uh, do you have any shout outs, babe? Uh, I do. Rebecca, happy birthday. And again, thank you, Joyce, our server. Yes, yes, yeah, thank you very much. She came over and says, hey, I subscribe to you guys. I know. Who knew? Yeah, yeah. we appreciate that yes, if you're watching you. this video. Yes. Mm -hmm. So until our next adventure, we'll catch you guys in the next one.